Hey! Welcome to Waterbox Live. We're in the studio again. Here. So it was back to Waterbox Wednesday. We're yes, good. Yes. We're back. No, no webcam Wednesday. <laughs> we're back here in the studio. We're, on, we're live on Facebook and YouTube, so make sure you like, share, subscribe. I'm getting that down. You are, you got it. I don't, I don't even try. I know I cannot do it. And today we're, we're talking about the big question of like, if you order a water box, how do you receive it? What do you do? If you've never had a big yeah. freight shipment come to your door before, it's kind of a, a big to do. So we're going to show a you a good way to do it. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's going to be a good, a good stream. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. We're ready. Hey. We're back. We're a little We're rusty. Back. We haven't been in the studio in a little while, but that's all good. I know. <clears throat> and our TVs are doing something. So Yeah, I'll fix it. Oh, oh you yeah, had oh, he's got the remote. All right, so that'll right, stay whatever. there for a little right. bit. Doesn't so, matter. So one of the things that a lot of people don't really understand or think about too much when they order a water box is that these things ship freight. Yeah. They're big. They are. They don't realize. I've seen people in our user group say, how am I going to get this thing in my house? So yeah. there are some things to consider, and that's kind of what we put together today for them to... So yeah, to when you're sitting there and we've talked about how do you choose the right water box for you, and we've gone through the different sizes and considerations for the models and stuff. So when you decide, all right, the Marine, the Reef, the Pro, whatever it may be, is the one that I want, and you order it. Mm -hmm. You now have, find out it's shipping, and you're like, okay, it's coming with a freight <laughs> carrier first. Um, if you've never had something delivered by a freight carrier, you're like, I don't know how that works. And then just getting that into yeah. your house and the whole, I mean, some of these are, you know, six, seven foot, you know, pallet and crates right. and stuff. So it's definitely a big to do on some of them. And doing it correctly yeah. will save you a lot of headache yeah. and backache yeah, too. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, definitely backache. Um, you know, some of these tanks are really big. So you just, we're going to run through a number of things that you sh should consider when ordering a water box. None of it's really that daunting, but um, we're going to give you the, the lay of the land. <clears throat> So first thing is when you place your order, it is going to get um, packed up at our warehouse mm -hmm. and all of our freight shipments, so that's pretty much all of your all-in-ones and bigger, are going to be palleted and mm -hmm. then they are shrink wrapped with the black wrap and strapped to the pallet. Yep. And one thing to note here, Jess, is that, you know, when you receive your pallet or your your shipment, it should be on a pallet. It should be strapped down and there should be black wrapping surrounding the whole thing. The black wrap, stretch wrap is kind of a new thing. So if you ordered a while ago, you may not have seen that. That's true, yeah. Um, <laughs> but that is a new thing. So when you receive it, make sure it looks, you know, somewhat similar to this in regards to it hasn't been removed from the pallet and things like that. Yeah, so we actually send you like a freight agreement, whatever that you ship, but it says, you know, if the black shrink is not there, if it's not on a pallet or the band is cut or anything like that before you receive it to make sure you note it because um, that's not how it left the warehouse. So it gets all packaged up all beautiful and pretty mm -hmm. and ready to go to you and it's going to come to you on a big old truck. Yep. And this is, this under this wrap here is a Frag 105.4. So you can see even a 100 gallon tank's pretty large. When, when they do show up though, don't be concerned that you're gonna have to get it off the truck. The driver, <laughs> will, the driver will do that part for you. They are a palletized, they do have a pallet jack. Um, so don't be too concerned about like, you're gonna have to lift this thing off the truck because there is a driver for that. So whenever you do, whenever the truck driver arrives, this is a good time to pull a favor and call mm -hmm. some friends. Um, order pizza, whatever you have to do to get some people to come and help you. Because even like a three or four foot, <clears throat> mm -hmm. it's heavy. Yeah. You know, the glass, the crate, everything, and you've got to get that in. So now it's a great time to coordinate the delivery with some yeah. friends or someone so helping out. A good thing to note about that, Jess, is you can you can get your friends over there, but there's also your local fish store do offer, a lot of them do offer uh, like setup services. Yeah. Um, we have a big network of retail stores that do sell water box so you can purchase a water box through them and have them do the whole thing for you yeah even even awesome. better yeah. <laughs> that's um, like the best scenario yes, right there exactly. that's what i would do <laughs> um so you know a lot of different options there friends retail store turnkey service yes and just like whenever this the truck does come to you 
It is basically a curbside drop off, so it's going to be at the basically the entrance of your driveway. Mm -hmm. Now there is like an inside delivery uh, fee or whatever you can do, which gets them to bring it to like into a garage, not right. into a front door, over steps or anything like that. Right. Right. Um, you can do that and a nice. Be nice to your your driver yeah, can get yeah. you a long way so, too. <laughs> so you guys will see on our website, like she said, uh, an inside delivery option that gets you through the threshold of your garage. Um, freight carriers will not bring our aquariums into your home; it's a liability yeah. thing. Uh, but who who can do that? Your local fish store. Um, and I've seen a lot of people in our owners group, like Jess said, that you pull out a twenty dollar bill, get you a long way. You might get you a long <laughs> way with the driver to bring it uh, a little bit closer to your house. So it is technically like curbside drop off. Um, and then once you get it there. You're going to start to basically when it comes if there's any damages or anything missing from the wrapping of that market on your paperwork but then you want to start to open it you have one metal band cut that carefully because it might snap you yep um when it comes undone <clears throat> and then you're going to basically you know very carefully take away the black shrink because you don't want to cut into like the car the cabinet boxes right. or um any other supplies that might be shipped with your aquarium and the final product once you get it off the crate in is your tank is in a beautiful wooden crate mm -hmm. and your cabinet is flat packed on top of it. Yep, you can see all the stamps there that has our contact information, the model that you ordered. On top is the uh, cabinet boxes. All right, now to the fun of opening your water box. <laughs> so Take out <clears throat> 77 screws <laughs> from the outside of the crate. <laughs> These things are really, really well packed. So you do have to unscrew the lid, take off the lid, and then you're going to be removing a cardboard top that then protects it even further. And then you go. And this is your time where you're going to want to do a quick visual inspection, uh, make sure that nothing looks damaged mm -hmm. um, in there that you'll be able to note right away. And look at the how well the, the we you know pack the inside of how well these are created from the corner protectors to the boxes holding the plumbing to the foam protecting the sump from the actual display itself. Um, really well thought out, really well packaged. From all the way from the uh, the way they're palletized, stretch wrapped. Yeah. Uh, then they're banded all the way down into the inside of the crate. It's just so well done. We do everything in our power to make sure that this is getting to you yeah. in perfect condition. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because just freight shipping in general can be rough. Yeah. So we're doing our part to make sure that it gets to it's, you and you don't have damages or any problems and that we can, yeah. you know, make it a Selling good and shipping glass it's is fine. rather <laughs> difficult. <laughs> and that's so why fun. we do all that uh, with the packaging. Yes. So you're going to take out your plumbing kit on these is going to be in a brown box that is set next to the sump. Go ahead and remove that. And then we do recommend at that point, um, you know, do another inspection of the tank and the sump, but build your cabinet. Mm -hmm. Because first building things your, first. Yeah, cabinet. building your cabinet before you start to take out your sump and take your tank out of the crate, um, it's going to make it easier to put the sump into place and put the tank on yeah. without having to set it somewhere in the house. You mm -hmm. risk damaging your sump or your tank I know, that way. I know when I receive a new tank, the first thing I want to do is rip the crate apart and get the you know, get to the glass, get to the yeah. goodies. But what you do by doing that is not only do you make uh, the tank more susceptible to damage while you're working around mm -hmm. it potentially, but um, you really want to save that to last so that you can get your stand put together and leveled. Yeah, so to get so. it put together, level it into the spot that you want your tank and stuff to be. And then you can start to unpackage. We say you'll go ahead and take your sump out. Mm -hmm. You're going to be really, really careful. At this point, you're taking off rings belts, anything that could scratch or hit glass. You want to take off all jewelry yes. that could come in contact, belt, all that stuff. Um, and then you're going to super very carefully lift your sump basically straight up so you're mm -hmm. not hitting the sides of the tank or anything with your sump. Yep. Take that up and then put right into your cabinet so it has no chance of you setting it on the floor and a corner gets dinged or something like that. Yeah. Um, so I want to repeat that, what, what she said. Uh, number one is one thing I didn't think about when the first time I ever set some of our bigger tanks up, my engineer was like, take your rings off, do all, you know, take off, yeah. watch your metal. And I was like, I didn't, I'd never thought of that. But, you know, you can easily s scratch these tanks with your belt or something like that. So when you're lifting up the sump and the, the display, and that's not watch the metal. <laughs> yeah. That is not how you not, want to start your no. tank with a scratch for um, yourself. And then also, when you do take the sump out, go straight into the cabinet. Mm -hmm. Um, that's going to eliminate, again, you, the more times you move that sump, 
the more times you're risking chipping a corner yes. or doing something like that. So if you have that stand already put together, your sump goes right in. You're and mitigating don't, damage. And don't try to be a hero and move the stump yourself. Yes. Because these things are actually pretty heavy and they're wedged in the tank really, really well. So you trying to lift it out yourself is mm -hmm. probably not going to go well for your back or the sump or no. anything involved. So don't do it. Just wait for somebody <laughs> and get yeah. some help with doing it. Yeah, so. absolutely. Absolutely. Now comes the fun part of you have to get the crate apart. Um, you can pull on the side panels, mm -hmm. you know, just be really careful because they are held together by nails. Also a, like a rubber mallet and kind of, you know, gently be careful around the tank, yeah. loosen up those edges so you can tear the um, sides off so you can yeah. get access to the tank. Um, and if you can get a hold of or have the glass suction cups, mm -hmm. they will be your best friend for moving your tank onto the stand. Yes, absolutely. So we have removed all of the sides of that tank crate here, and then we're unwrapping um, the tank itself. This point is also when you want to do another inspection of the mm -hmm. tank um, for any kind of damage or anything like that, and before you go ahead and move it onto the cabinet. Yep, and you can see we, we have it wrapped in plastic stretch wrap as well as like a, a foam sheeting. Yeah. Um, keeps the, uh, the tank nice and Nice and shiny. And when then you boom, it's it. on your stand and go for it. Yeah. So that's the one, the 105 frag that we're going to be doing a build on. Hopefully very soon we'll be starting that. Yes, hopefully we're going to get back into that. We got a lot of people here. So we got absolute carrot. <laughs> <laughs> we got Gillies, um, Jeremy, uh, Georgia's. Lots of people in here. Lots of questions, too. Aww. Let's see if I can get to a few We've got those. Justin, Steve, Ryan, Jessica, Jaden, Simon, Rick, and Simon. Yep, questions. Yep, no one's doing questions. Everyone's saying they remember the day that they got their water box delivered, and it was a great day and a great feeling. People love that day. It's a fun day. It is. So having the, being prepared is going to make the day much easier for you. Um, you know, and these are some good tips just kind of how to make it a smooth process from drop yeah. off to getting mm -hmm. it in spot and on the cabinet. Yeah, it's just, it's things that seem silly that people don't think of, but you know, like just as far as watching out for your rings and putting your sump right into the cabinet, mm -hmm. building your cabinet first. Yeah. Those are all things that are gonna help you out in the long run a lot. Um, Georgia said he can't wait to order his Marine. Um, let's see here. We had a question, how come the Waterbox 130.4 is not in stock? This is a great question. <laughs> uh, we get this a lot, you know. Um, there's no shortage of water boxes, but there are a lot of water boxes shipping out. So yes. one thing to consider when you are ordering a water box is these are big handmade aquarium systems. Mm -hmm. You're not ordering like a pack of markers yeah. or something <laughs> like that. So sometimes there is a little bit of a lead time. There's always containers arriving. There's always more tanks being built. We're constantly the, shipping, yeah. constantly. So it's one of those things where, you know, kind of just get yours in line. Um, and like you said, we're constantly getting containers in and yeah. containers back out. It's just, like you said, they're being built. Yeah, the, they're being built and they're, they're going right back out. Like she said, don't wait for them to be back in stock. Get your, your tank order in so that as they're coming in, they're shipping out. Uh, we do have uh, additional stock in the warehouse, but that's not always the case for every single model. Yeah, yeah. Some so. of them we're waiting for more to come in and kind of just revolving that way. I do have a good question here and <clears throat> says, where can I get a water box in Canada? Ooh. Ooh. I wonder this is which for model. You. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder which model. So, guys, we are shipping to Canada directly from Florida now. So, if you want to order a cube or you want to order a 130.4, you can calculate those shipping cost duties right through our website and we'll ship directly to your house anywhere in Canada. That's some great news. We have a lot of people in Canada yes. waiting for Waterbox. So now yes. you can have all of our models shipped to you in Canada. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that is some good news. Uh, Jaden said he called in sick for three days after receiving his tank. <laughs> Surprising. I wonder what happened. <laughs> that is some serious <laughs> dedication. Were, He's like, nothing's stopping yeah, me now. I'm sorry you weren't feeling well, Jaden. Back problems. Back problems. <laughs> <laughs> My back hurts. Um, I'm out. Yep. And I know not everyone in the stream is from the U.S. or Canada. We have distributors in Australia, Dubai, uh, all of Europe, the United Kingdom, China, Indonesia, Thailand. I do have Where? someone asking about in Greece. Greece, that is a good question. We <laughs> <laughs> don't have anybody in Greece. There's, we can more than likely set you up with one of our retailers in Europe, though, to get something arranged. 
Okay. Even reach out to customer support? Yeah. Yep. Reach out to support at Waterbox Aquariums, um, and they can probably guide you in that direction of where to go. And about what about EU? We've got definitely EU. Yeah, yeah. All over Europe, you guys, you go to Waterbox Aquariums, EU.com. You can order right there on the website. Perfect. We have the full saltwater range in Europe. We do not have the freshwater yet, but it will be coming soon. Very nice. Yeah. We're all over. We are. <laughs> Alrighty. So it's a good question though. What water box would be good for a frontosa? What water box would be good for a frontosa? I would say that a clear pro uh, 6025 or 7225 would be good. So the five or six foot clear pro. Frontosas get pretty big. So I don't know what that is. It's the one with the big like blue and white stripes and got the oh, big hat on them. Okay, it. gotcha. But they get pretty good size <laughs> and they're best in like groups a lot of times. So uh -huh. a nice five or six foot clear pro or even just like one of the pro or peninsula would be great for that size. Jess knows every fish. I know some fish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Whatever questions I know. All righty. So are you going to be making a bigger tank than the 220? Wouldn't you like to know? Wouldn't you like to know? I love that answer. <laughs> So I always say, there's one thing I can tell you, and it's that I can't tell you. Can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so again, you guys, we'll drop that resource in the comments below. We'll also have it on our help desk if you guys want to, you know, go through that. Keep this video in mind when you are ordering a water box. We wanted to do this because there's a lot of people at home right now. There's a lot of water boxes. Yeah. A lot of new water box family all over the world. Um, our family is growing so much. It is. It's so wonderful. It's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> So we appreciate you guys watching. If you guys have any questions, comments, anything like that, definitely post them below. We'll try to get to them. Like, share, subscribe. Nailed it. Yes. Nailed it. <laughs> yes. <laughs>